Hi, I'm Larry Dottilio, and uh, I wrote 15 He-Mans and 15 She-Ra's, and also did a lot of rewrites and filmation on the original He-Man. Uh, several years later, it's around 2001, I guess, or the new He-Man came out. Uh, not New Adventures of He-Man. We never talk about that. Um, Mike Young productions of uh, He-Man. I wrote seven of those. But I was on, I was not on staff on that show. I was a, a freelance writer. So um, I did get to do a lot of great stuff on the Mike Young production. I got to do the origin of Skeletor. I got to do. I was entranced with Evelyn and wanted to uh, get her a better shot than she had at filmation with the dumb voice. Um, I was I was very attracted to Evelyn. <laughs> uh, I created. Um, uh, another character, the faceless one, is her father uh, in an episode for Mike Young. And uh, I did an Orco episode for them called Lessons, where it's actually the, it's actually the origin scene from the film, filmation, um, He-Man. But it's, it's just lengthened. It's a, I extended the scene so there was a lot more to it than there was in that scene. That, they asked me to do that and do that uh, on my own. But I thought, well, that's a good idea. Now we'll, you know, we'll see more. Where did he go after that scene and stuff? Like that's how I did it. Um, so I got to write. I loved the first season of that show. Um, I loved everything on on filmation. He man. Um, it was where I learned uh, the animation craft. Uh, I had never written animation before. I had done a. I got into Writers Guild on a on a movie, a feature movie, uh, about which there's nothing to say. <laughs> um, but when you work in animation, it's number one a great field for a screenwriter to be in because you have to think visually. But don't show, think visual. That's how you write a uh, film script or a television. You should write a television script that thing. A lot of times they don't have the wherewithal to do what you write on television. But um, I've usually worked with people who, if you push the envelope a little bit, will agree with you and decide, okay, well, let's find a way to do this. I've worked for a lot of people like that. That wasn't necessarily filmation, but Gary Goddard gave us great leeway on Captain Power, which was another show that uh, um, I first started as a staff writer and then I became the story editor for the abortive second season. And, and as we finished the last script and put the end on it, Mattel called and pulled the plug on the show. So that's uh, a regret I have. From, uh, my past life. I've also worked for Babylon 5, Murder She Wrote, um, a lot of a lot of shows, a lot of Galaxy High School. I was uh, also I was uh, Galaxy High School was really a good show. I was proud of Galaxy High School, but it was way before its time, and I, nobody could put up with it. It was just it was just too weird for the, the people, you know, to have this, this chicken in space, and <laughs> you know. We actually, I actually killed a character in that place, one of the, one of the students. Um, it was a fly, it looked like a fly to the earth guy, so he just whapped it and they said, hey, kill Rodney. <laughs> and, I, and they actually let us do it, they actually let us put it on the air. It was a Japanese company called Tokyo Movie Shinsa, who had the most beautiful woman running the, the outfit there. Oh, she was great to work for. <laughs> Now I'm kind of like semi-partially retired. I don't think you ever really retire from writing, you know. I'm, I'm trying really to retire from it as, a, as a, you know, an ongoing job week after week after week. Um, when I was at Filmation, I was young. I was a, you know, I was a young man then. Uh, Filmation didn't age me any, but the rest of the business did uh, quite a bit. At some time, I said, you know, I don't want to do that. And, and the business is different than it was. The entire entertainment business is different. Computers change things, you know. That's why you go to audiences and say, we used to write this on typewriters. They say, what are typewriters? <laughs> we don't know what typewriters are. Um, and computers uh, were a godsend to me because uh, I never learned to type, ever, despite the fact that I was a writer. Uh, and I just, I'm a hunt and peck typer. I'm hunting and I'm pecking, uh, and that's how I write. So I write a little bit slowly, uh, of course, that, and I cannot read it on screen. I have to print it out and then read it. Otherwise, I don't get an idea of how, uh, if my flow is right or not.
months, you know. So I write and I write and I write and I write and then, you know, I don't really care how many pages I have. I, I just print them out and, and say, okay, now it's going the way I want it to go. And I can't tell if I read that on the screen. I, it's just one of those disconnects that like older writers have. We worked on typewriters for too many years, you know, where you were taking the page out and reading it. <laughs> you know, you couldn't read it when it was in the typewriter. The good thing is you can read it when it's in the computer, but you can't make any sense of it because it's kind of not like the written word. It's not on a screen. It could disappear at any second if your computer crashes. Power con, I, I love to, I, I, con, I come a lot to see my old, old friends. I, I don't see, you know, it, a lot of people think the Filmation guys, we just hang it out at one bar somewhere and then we all see each other all the time. We don't. There's a lot of people I've lost touch with and there's a lot of people I would like to regain touch with. One of them is Don Manuel, the storyboard artist. Because um, he, he was the most brilliant storyboard artist I ever saw. His storyboards literally looked like a comic book in black and white, you know, but better than any black and white comic that you've ever seen. They were movie quality storyboards. But he'd take, he, he was slow, he did he, take years on them, you know. We get him, gotta get it done to move fast, you know. <laughs> but, uh, uh, and so now I, someone says, oh yeah, Don is still here in Los Angeles and Tom T knows who he is. And, I, and I'm now working with Tom Tantaranowitz from uh, filmation, old Filmation days. He used to be our shop steward uh, from uh, the animation unit. Um, and we're trying to come up with, um, uh, horror shows for uh, not six-year-olds or eight-year-olds for uh, tween, basically middle schoolers. You know, the, kid, the kids that read Hunger Games and stuff like that. Uh, we think they're ready for a, a, a full-out horror show in animation, um, and we're trying to get that going. Here I am at PowerCon, and you're not. So why aren't you here? You would revel. In He-Man, She-Ra, Thundercats, uh, lots and lots of terrific good stuff to buy. Uh, dinners with creators of shows you love. Um, why are you not here? <laughs> so next year, I hope to see more of you here, especially some of my old buddies from the studio and stuff, and uh, get a couple more people involved. Um, it's a good time. It's a good time for I'd say. For me, it's remembering a good time that really is 30 years ago that I never forgot. And uh, I'm, I'm always ready to do something for filmation. Uh, the tale might be a different story. But <laughs>